Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandaru. Students, we have already completed one session in this utilization. It is the second session. Okay. Let us check up to which we have completed. All these questions we have completed in the first session. If you want, you can just click on the playlist and you can find out this utilization topic wise MCQs. Okay. So up to this one we have completed utilization factor for direct fitting slice between that is direct uh, fitting case 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 indirect fitting case 0 0.1 to 0 0.35. Utilization factor is in the sense lumens received on the working plane by lumens emitted by the lamp. Okay. Now coming to the next question. Coming to the next question. So in this question, a room 9 meter into 12 meter is illuminated by 12 number of 100 watt lamps. The luminous efficiency of the lamp is 30 lumens per watt and coefficient of utilization factor is 0.45. The average illumination is dash lux. So here they are asking illumination. So illumination formula. Total flux reaching the working plane by unit area. Okay. So that means total lumens we want to find out. Here what is the area of the room? Let us take the room area. Room area. A is equal to. 9 meter into 12 meter that is 108 meter square so we got area now we need to find out the flux okay so here coming to the total wattage what is the total wattage guys total wattage 12 number of 100 watt lamps so each lamp having 100 watt but those type we have 12 so 12 into 100 that is nothing but 1200 watt. Okay. Then what is the total flux emitted? Total flux emitted by this 1200 watt lamps. It is nothing but you can say they have given efficiency. Efficiency is nothing but lumen per watt. Okay, lumen per watt. If you want lumens, you have to multiply with efficiency into watt. So efficiency they have given 30 lumens per watt and the wattage is nothing but 1200. So this is the total flux emitted by the 1200 watt. But they have given utilization factor. Okay, then we can find out the uh, flux received on the working plane. So now flux reaching the working plane working plane that is nothing but total flux into reduction factor total flux into reduction factor so total flux 30 into 1200 into 0 0.45 okay 30 into 1200 means uh, 36300 into 0 0.45 that is very near to the off so you will get this one as 16200 lumens okay so now you got the total flux reaching on working plane by and also area area also you know so 16200 by that area is 108 okay so then you will get uh nearly 150 lux okay 150 lux so the answer is option B. if you make it as a 100 it is make as 16000 then you will get approximately 160 like that so approximately 160 means uh, 150 is there so we can give the answer as option D. okay so average elimination is nothing but the flux reaching on the working plane by area so we can easily find out the area and we can easily find out the lumens lumens is equal to here efficiency into wattage so we have to substitute the values and we will get the answer okay coming to the next question guys 
in the following which is law of illumination which is the law of illumination here in the law of illumination always the illumination is inversely proportional to square of the distance square square of the distance square so illumination of a surface is inversely proportional to square of the distance between the surface and light source provided okay so inversely proportional here it is inversely it is inversely it is inversely but here just a distance no it is a square of the distance yes okay square of the distance not a square root square of the distance okay so that means here if you have this is the source if we have this is the source okay this is nothing but you are working surface if the distance is d the e is proportional to 1 by d square if the distance is 2d that is 1 by 2d square if the distance is 3d that is 1 by 3d square okay so that is inversely proportional to the square of the distance square okay coming to the next one the illumination is directly proportional to the cosine of angle made by the normal to the illuminated surface with the direction of the incident flux. The above statement is associated with the dash. The above statement is associated with the dash. This is nothing but Lambert's cosine la na na cosine angle. So Lambert's cosine la. As per this, the illumination is equal to i by d square into cos theta okay or if you can consider it is in terms of the height i by h square cos cubed theta i by h square cos cubed theta okay so this is nothing but you can say lombard's cosine law lombard's cosine law coming to the next one the cp candle power of a lamp placed normal to the working plane is 30 cp Find the distance if illumination is 15 lux. Find the distance if the illumination is 15 lux. Just now we have discussed the law of illumination. What is that law of illumination? E is proportional to d square or E is equal to i by d square. Okay. E is proportional to 1 by d square or E is equal to i by d square. Na? So just here i by d square or here E is proportional to uh, i by d square in the sense if we want to find out the distance distance square is equal to i by e distance is equal to root i by e that is root i i is in the sense intensity intensity is nothing but candle power intensity is nothing but 30 by illumination is nothing but 15 so 115 to root 2 means 1.414 1.414 so the answer is option d 1.414 so the answer is option okay all of you clear option d coming to the next one the mscp of a lamp which gives out a total luminous flux of 400 pi lumen is dash candela is dash candela okay so we know very well the formula of mscp is nothing but total flux by 4 pi total flux by 4 pi what is this mscp as the name itself mean spherical spherical cp Keep in the sense candle power. Candle power. Okay. So the total flux. What is the total flux they have given? 400 pi by 4 pi. So pi pi cancel out. 4 ones, 4 hundreds. So that is nothing but we can say 100 is the answer. So the answer is option D. 100 is the answer. So the answer is option D. Okay. Coming to the next question guys. When a 250 volt lamp takes a current of 0 0.8 amps, it produces a total flux of total flux of 3 to 6 zero lumens. Then calculate the 
MSCP. Just now we got the formula of MSCP is equal to total flux by 4 pi. So what is the total flux they have given? 3 to 6 0 by 4 pi. Okay. So if you calculate, you will get approximately 259.42. That means approximately 260. Okay. Approximately 260. So it is very difficult to calculate without calcina, but we have to go with the approximation. Okay. So go with the approximation is nothing but 4 into 3.14. 3.14 means 3 into 4 almost 12. If it is almost 12, 12 ones, 12 twos, okay, and 8 is there. So approximately 12, 7 and 0. So that means approximately 270 or 260 order. So we have 260 is there. So we can directly find out the answer as. 260 okay so like that go with the approximation okay whenever the options are too far go with the approximation okay then no need of can see coming to the next question when a 200 volt lamp takes a current of 1 amp produces a total flux of 285 2860 lumens then efficiency of the lamp is dash efficiency of the lamp is dash in the question itself, they have given the units. From the units also, you can get the answer. What is the efficiency? Electrical output by light input. Electrical output by light input. Okay. So, what is the electrical output? Sorry, light output by electrical input. Huh? Sorry. Efficiency is nothing but output by input. Output is nothing but light energy. Na? So, light output by electrical input. Okay. So, what is the light output flux? 28860. 28860 by electrical input. What is the electrical input here? What is the electrical input here? Voltage into current. Watts na? Voltage into current. And the power factor. Okay. So let us take the power factor as almost to 1. Okay. 200. 200 ones. 200. 14. Approximately 14 something. So 14 something means answer is option C. 14 something means answer is options okay so lumens by watt as the units itself only they have given lumens by watt lumens means electrical output sorry lumens means light output by watt means electrical input coming to the next one same type of the question here also they are asking same efficiency that is total lumens 3260 per watt okay so watt in the sense 250 into 0.8 Okay, so 3260 by so this one, this 0, this 0 cancel out 25 into 8 is something but 200, 200 ones, 216 something. So 16 something means the answer is option C. Okay, 16 something means answer is option C. Okay, okay, students, we will discuss the remaining questions in the next session. If you like my classes, please. Click on like button and also give your valuable comments. Okay. So, so many students are just watching and not giving the comments. Please give your comments. Okay. Those uh, will encourage me a lot to take more sessions. Okay. And if you want plus courses, you can get subscription from an academy. Uh, you can get the subscription in an academy app. So, if you don't have an academy app, download from the Play Store. And select your goal as SSCJ and A examination. Select the number of months. Enter the referral code Sunil Sar SSC to get the instant discount and go for the subscription. Okay. If you get the subscription, you not only get my classes, you will get all the plus educator classes under this SSCJ and A exam step. Okay, students, we will meet in the next session. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye, guys.